Hello, my name's Callum. I'm an actor from England who's currently touring Germany, who's currently, as part of that, touring Sweden, who's now in Denmark. Let's go to Copenhagen, shall we? So behind me is Helsingor. No, Helsingborg in Sweden. Mm. Let's go to Sweden, shall we? Sweden? I'm in Sweden. Let's go to Copenhagen, shall we? So behind me is Helsingborg in Sweden. Swedish place. And over there, that's now behind me, is Helsingor in Denmark. And this is a big car ferry that I'm standing on that takes people from one side to the other because it's surprisingly cheaper than driving all the way down the coast and over one bridge that they've built. Um, I've been going for one night, Friday. Uh, I've got a hostel booked and everything, so it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it is quite cold though, so I might go into the bar and get myself a hot toddy. Keep it down. Thank you. Well, see you in Denmark, I guess. Let's get some bacon and... Lego? Lego. That is Danish. Lego. See you for Lego and bacon and the Little Mermaid statue. Those are the three things that I can think of that come to mind when I think of Denmark. So not a lot. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. And it's not an optical illusion, it's not just because that other boat is moving, but we are actually moving. It's quite cool. Off we go. I am feeling pretty worse for wear. I am not in the best state. Uh, I met some people in the hostel last night, and one of them had a bottle of Scotch whiskey that three people managed to finish. And surprisingly, when you mix um, whiskey with soda, it doesn't taste as strong, meaning you drink more of it and you don't really realise. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit shitty. Anyway, let's go see what Copenhagen has in store. So this is one of the only places that I do actually know about in Copenhagen, uh, it's the Travoli, which started off, I think, as a big theater and then turned into a theme park. It's the second oldest theme park in the world. And it is literally right smack bang in the center of town. It's really peculiar. But I want to go inside. But I feel hungover and I don't want to throw up. So are you guys ready for another slightly half-remembered, potentially, potentially made-up fact? Okay, so here I am outside of this hotel called Hotel de Angleterre, uh, which means uh, Hotel of England, I think, in French, but it's well known for being called the White Lady, basically. This is all looking nice and pretty for Christmas. But here's the kind of the old story that I want to tell you. Um, see one of these ones up here, these are the penthouse rooms, and uh, over here is a set of flats where uh, a young actress used to live who was dating a guy who was a uh, fighter pilot, you know, a plane pilot man. That makes no sense. Anyway, he found out one day that in that hotel was going to be staying a guy called Himmler. This was during the Second World War, just so you know. Um, and he was the guy who ran the SS. Anyway, this pilot, being the brave ass bastard that he was, decided, perfect, my girlfriend lives across from the penthouse suite. Surely this guy, the leader of the SS, will be staying in the best suite in the hotel. Her window looks straight onto his window. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a crossbow rather than a gun, because a crossbow is quieter, carve the name, that, uh, carve the date that the Nazis invaded Denmark into the arrow, and then tell my girlfriend to go away for the weekend. And then I'm gonna shoot this guy with this crossbow, which is fucking amazing. Except, um, Himmler was staying here in Copenhagen as a stopover from a trip from Zurich that he was making. So he was in Zurich, and he was gonna stop in Copenhagen for the night, and then he was going to go back to Berlin. Uh, but while in Zurich, he got the flu. So they just decided to fly him straight back, but not tell anyone. So this guy just sat around in his flat all day, ready with a crossbow, waiting for this guy to walk across the window so he could kill him. 
we came that close to a completely different scenario to the World War. Just because a guy got the flu. Madness, eh? That was a slightly half-remembered, made-up, slightly fact. So let's keep this quick so I don't freeze to death Oh, get too wet. Um, uh, here we are in the Royal Palace. Danish royalty are a peculiar bunch. Um, the Queen lives in that one that's covered in scaffolding at the moment. Um, and the only way that you can tell the difference, supposedly, uh, is uh, because it has five chimneys rather than four or three, like the others. And that is because the current Queen is a massive chain smoker and really well known for being a massive chain smoker. So they supposedly says installed this extra chimney so that she had another place in the house where she could smoke and the, the smoke could go up. Um, uh, also what I quite like about this queen, um, not only the fact that the actual Danes love her, she's got like an 80 to 90 percent approval rating which is crazy, but also I'm just gonna wipe my lens clean. <laughs> not a good idea Callum, should not done that with my glove. And then the other thing that I think is really cool about her is that she's an artist and she really likes art. And she's studied and everything. Um, and also she's a massive fan of Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings books. So when she heard that they were being translated into Danish, she phoned up the publishers and asked whether she would be allowed to do the illustrations for the book. And of course, you, you go, yeah, yeah, queen. Yeah, you can do the illustrations for a book. So there are hundreds of Danish kids out there who are reading Tolkien in their native tongue and the pictures, the illustrations, are done by the Queen. Which is kind of cool, I think. Anyway, yeah, this is the Royal Palace. Uh, one more stop I think I'm going to make before I go inside and warm up. I, you, oh, you can't come here without seeing the little fucking mermaid, can you? So let's go find that little mermaid statue. Bye.